Are COVID restrictions affecting your health? Spending more time indoors can mean less exercise, which can heighten the risk of developing chronic conditions. Formosa News reporter Stephanie Yang spoke to experts to get tips on maintaining a healthy lifestyle despite the pandemic. COVID has left many people spending more time than ever at home. That, combined with poor eating habits, can take a heavy toll on your health. Since I was busy with work, I didn't take good care of my health. I often ate dinner late at irregular times. My sleep was relatively poor because I often went to bed late and woke up early. I was diagnosed with high blood sugar and high blood lipids. I had a waist circumference of more than 80 centimeters. Especially during the pandemic, people have been eating more and moving less, so their bodies are out of shape. People live longer now, but the incidence of chronic illnesses is on the rise. A diet high in fats, sugars and salt can lead to health problems such as high blood pressure while increasing the risk of metabolic syndrome and chronic diseases. According to the Health Promotion Administration, 3.6 out of every 10 people over the age of 40 have metabolic syndrome. About half of them have a high waist circumference, which, if left untreated, can lead to a high risk of chronic diseases. <laughs> We found that more than half of the top 10 causes of death, including cerebrovascular disease, heart disease, hypertension, and diabetes, have five risk factors called metabolic syndrome disease. Its symptoms include a high waist circumference and high blood pressure. You measure both waist circumference and blood pressure at home. For men, check whether your waist circumference exceeds 90 centimeters. For women, the mark to watch is 80 centimeters. Metabolic syndrome can be a precursor of chronic disease such as diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. The HPA says there are four things that can be done right at home to prevent and monitor for metabolic syndrome. First, you should measure your blood pressure, waist circumference, and body weight daily. Second, eat varied meals that include fruits, vegetables, rice, soy, fish, eggs, and meat. Third, minimize periods of prolonged sitting and exercise for 30 minutes at least five times a week. Finally, go to bed early and cut back on smoking and drinking. The first thing to emphasize is that even during the pandemic, keeping a balanced diet is very important. We should have a glass of milk in the morning and at night and eat a fist's worth of fruit with every meal. Eat more vegetables than fruits and eat the same amount of rice as you do vegetables. As for beans, fish, eggs and meat, try to eat about as much of the size of your palm. More than half of the top 10 causes of death in 2020 were chronic diseases, including heart disease, cerebral vascular disease, diabetes, nephritis and nephropathy. Doctors say a good way to keep disease at bay is to develop a healthy lifestyle with habits such as walking at least 5,000 steps every day. For most of news, Stephanie Yang, Tenshin Han in Taipei.